Very good, sir. Please take only four minutes. Because take, the time of nominated me. member is gone. Thank you, sir. Take only four minutes. Thank you, sir. Sir, in our constitutional scheme of things, there is clear demarcation between various Thank institutions, parliament, no, no. judiciary, come, come, come. and the executive. Whenever any organ of the state, any one of these three, crosses, exceeds its limits, the people sense danger. In the 1970s, there was talk of committed judiciary. There was a later on supersession of judges, and an immediate judge, Justice Achar Khanna, resigned on a matter of principle. So there was turmoil, and people were concerned because executive at that time was crossing the limits prescribed for it. Now, in 1993 judgment, judiciary has crossed the limits. The brother judges want to appoint the brother judges. And you know when brothers judges appoint their own brothers, the nepotism comes, favoritism comes. And in the collegium, there are instances where bargaining takes place between one judge, another judge, another judge, and chief justice takes a better share. Justice J.S. Verma, who was on the 93 bench, which set up the collegium, a novel institution, in which is not mentioned in the Constitution. He was for it. Later on, he regretted the decision of the Supreme Court in public. I think he appeared before the Parliament Committee also. But in public statements and in private conversation, he went on saying this was a wrong decision. The bench had taken of which he was a member, and regret was pretty deep. Sir, nowhere in the world the judges appoint themselves. Always is executive decision, but there are checks on misuse of the executive power. Now that check, I think, is going to be provided in that take, that's taken care of in the appointment of that judicial commission, which which, which is being provided for. Since time is limited, there has been considerable lobbying with the Norwegian members all over the states. And the High Court judges who are aspiring to be the Supreme Court judge, they don't leave any stone unturned to get to the Supreme Court, either retire early, B, they want to be on the court, Supreme Court, and they visit the houses of the Collegium members try to bring influences of all kinds. Now, that kind of culture which prevails in the, in the judiciary leads to malpractices, which, must be, which, which, which should be corrected. With the result, the quality of justice has declined in the country. I will just cite two, three cases. Take just Jessica Lal case, or Priyadarshini Mattu case. Now, there was a miscarriage of justice and public concern and the media concerns, ultimately the courts had to intervene, high, highest courts had to intervene to provide justice. And I can't understand the trial courts, and even at high court level, how did a BMW car becomes a truck along the way? This, and the man, man who killed, the car which killed six people on Lodi, Lodi Road got away, very lightly. So, this is because the right kind of people are not being appointed on the judiciary. Sir, the Collegium has never laid the criteria of appointment of judges. What kind of judges you need at the High Court or the Supreme Court? Delhi High Court has come out with judgments which lays criteria for admission to nursery school. But people do not know what kind of criteria are there for getting admission into the High Court or, 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 or the Supreme Court. Just one minute more, that's all, half a minute. Sir, I'm a little worried when a recognized organ of the state exceeds its limit. And when a recognized organ of the state, whatever it says, is always right. Worried about the individual who think they're always right, worried about the institution when they think they're always right. Now, this aberration, and which was wrong on the part of the Supreme Court,
to arrogate to itself the power is being set right in the Constitution. And that's why I support this bill. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much.